How's it going guys? I just wanted to do a kind of a a review, not really a review because I haven't had this long enough to really review it. So, but I did want to, to kind of give you a little heads up of what I've done. So I've been using ball heads for quite a long time. Uh, I use ball heads on, uh, well, pretty much on, on my telescope, not my big telescope, but on, well, I say that. So on my, on my medium telescope and on my large telephoto lens for taking pictures of the moon, stuff like that. So I've, I've always used one of these on that. So this is a, a newer and I've had this for quite some time. Uh, I will say that I have been disappointed in it from the get-go. Um, so first off, when you tighten this thing down, when you're going to put it on a tripod to when you're going to mount it on a tripod, it's not that great. It does not hold. Now you, when you loosen it up, it does, you know, you can do that and you're good. Um, I actually, I don't know if you can tell, but I can turn this. So I can tighten both of these down and it does hold pretty good. I mean, I can, I got some movement. See, so you, can, you can, that's what those lock, maybe not as tight as I can get them. But it, so that's, there you go. See, it still does it. So now I replaced, I put these small rig uh, quick brackets on everything. So these are the Arca Swiss um, quick release brackets by small rig. Love them, but, big but. First off, they're expensive. These were $49 a piece, I believe. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, they were $49 a piece. That may be a little much, but that's what I remember getting them for. And I think I bought, I had to buy three of them. So I've got three different tripods that I put them on. Now, this is what I don't like about them. You have to keep an Allen wrench with you all the time on these because if you use a different camera or if you use a lens that has a Arca Swiss mount on it and you have to mount the lens instead of mounting the camera because the lens is too big like I have in this case and I'll show you in a second. I don't even have that one on it but anyways I'll get that one out too. Um, you have to adjust this little This little Allen screw right there. So you can see that. That little Allen screw has to be adjusted separately for almost every piece of equipment I have. I don't have any two. I don't have any two. You can see how that works. Cameras, lenses, or anything that will fit in there. As a matter of fact, I have two Sigma lenses. So I have two <laughs> Sigma lenses. One is a 150 milliliter, milliliter, 150 millimeter to 600 millimeter um, lens, and it again is so big that you can't mount the camera to the tripod, or this will snap off of there. I mean, these things are heavy. Now this is the uh, 70 to 200 millimeter, and as you can see, this has its own little mount to it. Now I had to put this on there for the other mount because it's different directions. But anyways. This is what I'm talking about though. This same, the factory part mount on this lens, this Sigma lens, is a different size than the one on the other Sigma lens. Tell me that's not frustrating. I mean, uh, another thing I don't like about this one, of course, is you cannot take this, this uh, mount off. This mount is, it just stays on there. You can put it in different positions, move it out of the way, whatnot, but you can't take it off of there. The other one you can. But that other lens is yay long too once it's completely uh, zoomed in. So this is what I'm this is what I was gonna get to. And I will I'll show you first on, on this other this other lens that I've got. So this is on a newer tripod and I like this tripod. It's not the best of balances or anything like that, but I do like the tripod. So actually, I'll, I'll do it kind of to the side here. So this is the new one that I got, and this is a KNF Concepts. Um, some people don't like these. I do. So they, they say they're good for landscape photographers, stuff like that. Um, maybe good for astrophotography. I've got, for my astrophotography stuff, I've got one of these, but it's a 58 millimeter. So keeping that in mind, it doesn't move. It holds everything. It's the sturdiest thing you can possibly think of. And I can't remember what brand it is, 
but it's, it's a good one. It's a very expensive one too. So anyways, this one is what they call a geared head. So let me raise this up just a little bit more so you can see it. So there are one knob, two knob, and three knob. So they all do something different. So this one moves just the camera part. Now again, this, this tripod is on carpet and it's not balanced perfect or anything, but there you go. So that one moves it up and down. Now there you see the orange part on here, this little orange part. Now what that does is I can take hold of the camera and I can do this and do quick movement. So I don't have to do everything in little micro movements. I can do that. And each one, each, all, all three of these have one. So the other one, this one does a rotation. This one does the tilt. So, you can see of this moving this way, this moving this way, and this moving this way. I don't, yeah, there you go. You start to see it now. Of those movements, you're going to get exactly what you need. Not close, not wiggly wobbly, not where you have to loosen both of these and then get it kind of where you need it. It's still tight. I can't even, yeah, there we go. Not kind of, you can see it's kind of stiff moving that. And then as soon as you let go of it, you tighten that down and then it kind of droops a little bit. It's not like that. These are geared, so they won't let it go any further. Now this was my whole idea of this. So I take, let me get this out of the way real quick. I know, I know you don't really want to see my face, but in order for me to talk, you kind of got to. So. HDMI cable here. So, um, in order to take overhead shots on a boom, you need something to that's going to hold it steady. Um, what I've got is a C stand with an extendable boom pole up to seven feet, and it will hold. I think it was 22 pounds, if I'm not mistaken may have been closer to about 16 or 18 pounds. I can't remember exactly. Not a big deal because even with this lens on there, um, I'm still only looking at about maybe 10 or 11, if that. I don't even think with that. Because I think this is only, I think this is only five pounds, four and a half, five pounds, and then the camera's not that heavy. So again, not a big deal. But with that, then I've got an adapter that has a, a baby pin light stand uh, connection on it. And then a, a, a 3 8 screw for the the mount just like on a on a tripod just like on this so but this this is the main thing that i wanted to do because you get that up there now i will show you exactly why i wanted to go this route because this is a major thing you get these lenses on here and of course I'm gonna to have to take this off so I don't want to let go of that because I don't want that holding all the weight so then I'll take this off and then I have to put it on here so as you can see if I wanted to use the original camera mount it would the camera would be facing this way instead of this way so none of these would be correct since I want it to be correct and easier as possible, there you go. Now this is the thing that I can do with this that I couldn't do with a ball head. Now, of course, like I said, my tripod's not mounted, not too stable, doesn't have any sandbags on or anything. But look at this. There is no way that a ball head would do that without completely drooping down. No way. I, I've tried. The, I mean, my other, the one that I use on my telescope, it, it's there's the possibility of that one holding it is a lot better than than this one. I mean, this one I wouldn't trust this one with this other lens. I, I, I did trust it actually, and it it didn't work so well. I had to tighten both of those knobs down as tight as I could. On this, see, I don't have to tighten anything. It's there. I get it where I need it. I'm good. Yeah, if I have to move it back up. I'm good. If I'm done and I want to put it back all the way up, I just do it there and there you go. I am good to go. Now, 
there you go. So you, once you get it back into position, then you got to lock it. It kind of moves a little bit to get it locked. But then you move it, and you're good. There is no way that a ball head would do that. As good, as sturdily, stur steadily, as steadily, or as well, um, as firm, I guess you could say, as this one will. I do not worry about it at all. This is why I say this is a good deal. Now, don't, don't get me wrong. This is probably a... 50-ish dollar ball head. The one that I use with my telescopes is probably a 90-ish dollar ball head. This was $169, $170. You get one. I got one camera that I'm taking pictures with, so I'm going to move this wherever I need to move it to. Um, the other tripod that I use it on, the, the professional studio style tripod that I use this camera on, not necessarily with this lens, but um, one that I use it on, that has a real film, filmer's video tri uh, video head on it. So I don't have to, it's a pan tilt uh, head. So I will mount this on there with that. But generally I don't, I don't use that to take pictures. If I do, um, I'm taking bird pictures with the big 160 and I've got, and I can't remember what it's called. It's got the big arm that comes down and then it mounts on there and it actually swings and turns and pans and it does everything. So that's not even an issue either. But uh, anyways, there you have it. That's what I think about this. Again, this is the KNF Concepts. I did get it on Amazon. Very well built, very well, very nice. Uh, you can get the Manfrotto for three hundred and eighty bucks. Uh, you can get the um, the Ben Benga or something. I can't remember which what the name of it is. Uh, you can get that for three hundred and fifty bucks. Um, my understanding is they have a lot. Uh, they have a few, not a lot. They have a few issues with them that people don't like so much. Like they have a quick release, like this one does, but it's just a, a squeeze. So you squeeze it and it releases and it's got quite a bit of play in it. So um, again, for $350 for a professional quality one, I don't know. I like KNF Concepts. I've gotten a lot of filters from them. They're, I don't, I don't know that they've ever made hardware before, but they do make filters, um, filter mounts, stuff like that. Love their products. Really good stuff. Love the, the website. Uh, they're good with shipping, uh, bill, bill payments, all that kind of good stuff. I've worked with them quite a bit, and I like them. So, um, as a matter of fact, and see that one just okay. Yeah, you can. There's screws on here. You can tighten that down if you want to. I didn't put it on there real good, but anyways, that's KNF Concepts filter right there. So that's how much I like them. It's a <laughs> 82 millimeter filter, so they're not cheap. Um, it's just a UV filter, so I just use it to protect my lenses. That way I don't have to worry about um, scratches, dings. If I'm shooting macro stuff, I don't have to worry about running it into the the, pro the, the, the item that I'm shooting or anything like that. Anyways, that's what I wanted to go through. Uh, again, it's not really a review. I can't tell you anything about the longevity of it or anything like that, but I will tell you that it seems to be very well built. I think it's going to last quite a long time. Um, it feels really good and I the way I like to use these things like this um, the, the, the purpose that I use it for this this will the design is perfect so um, and again if you have any comments questions or concerns please let me know I will just put this up as a short short little video on it and um, uh, I'd like to take some pictures and stuff but I don't think I'm gonna use waste my time with that now maybe if I do a full review of it in a few months once I've used it quite a bit then I may do some of that with it because I'll be doing photo shoots anyway so I'll let you know have a good one take it easy and see you guys later all right bye